Hi folks, how's it going? It's I'm Mickey503. I'm going to make this quick five minute video on why you should be worried about Twitter. Number one, Twitter is full of AI bots. People are starting to realize that. Number two, Twitter actually lost most of its users. Oh, it seems like there's a lot of people there, but you don't lose that much money in your stock value for nothing. Number three, everyone that was actually worth a shit, again, on Twitter, on Facebook, on all these mainstream media platforms, a lot of them have gone. Okay. Four. Have you heard of Vanessa Voki? Vanessa Voki is a Canadian turf feminist YouTuber and business owner. Cool person, I'm sure. But again, I never really like feminists. I don't need you. No one needs you. Go off and die in your own little corner. Aren't you happier that way? Two weeks ago, she released a video. Look at this. Chicks with dicks. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have a disease. All right. I need help. There are no chicks with dicks, Johnny. Only guys with tits. She is being throttled like you have no idea. And that's the same thing that's being happening with Twitter, same thing's happening with a lot of other people. A lot of the discontent that you're seeing on Twitter right now, dude, it is huge. Any mainstream media platform, when they realize that the, the conservatives, the a lot of the liberal people, um, liberal to the right leaning or at least whatever, they left. They're gone. Like the people in the middle are like, this is physically bad. I lost my job. Too bad you voted for Biden. I don't really care about politics. Those people are on there, but what they're realizing, it's become a ghost town. They didn't realize that a lot of the people that are on there are in fact bots. This mass exodus is probably the second time it's actually happened. The first time, it's an atheist thing. That was the first one. Political stuff that was happening was actual just artificial intelligence. So people that are on the platform right now are starting to realize there's something weird here at Twitter. A lot of people on the right are actually the movers, the shakers, and all these other people that actually spend money that do stuff. They're gone. They're at other platforms. Our values, when those things left, so did our money, so did our influence. Force huffing their own farts. Highly suggest you start pushing your stuff on alt media now. Be anonymous online if you can. Have a persona, have a different thing, free to say whatever the hell you want. You're a big boy and a big girl. VPNs are okay. They're okay. They help. Realize that 2021 should be your year of freedom. A lot of you folks have gotten so used to being sheep that you don't know what it feels like to be free. Be careful. Not every single platform is actually safe. You need to understand that. Anything you have to use your telephone number and all that. Yeah, no. Third Flinging Monkey has a great guide now. I know you may not like all his uh, content. That's fine. You don't believe in taking away women's rights. That's cool. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. But again, he's very honest about what he pushes out there. And he has some great guides to do it. And I think TFM should probably do one of those uh, videos again because those are probably my favorite videos that he releases. The TFM sessions are great. But again, he has a lot of stuff out there considering privacy and so forth. And like I said, if he's releasing it, probably a pretty good idea to go ahead and listen. Look into actually making a secure device to connect on the internet. Probably a great time to actually use Bitcoin to purchase something or Ethereum or one of the other cryptocurrencies. So just try it out, see how it works. Cryptocurrency right now really is where it's at. Cryptocurrency will set you free. 2021 is the year to be free. Do whatever you can to deplug yourself from the matrix that they want you in. They hate you. They hate that you are an individual. They hate you so much that even after Trump is gone, they can't do anything but talk about him. They still want to impeach a guy that's not the president anymore. Try to get that through your head. Enjoy your freedoms while you got them. Because again, you only have them if you actually stand up for them. Bye now.